Hey there, Max. Hello, everyone. In fact, I want to start out with that. The 11 o'clock update from the National Hurricane Center. We do have a tropical storm. It's the first name storm of the hurricane season, even though it hasn't quite started yet. But here is the latest right now winds of about 40 miles per hour. So it's a very weak tropical storm at this point in time, and it is moving to the north northeast at a good clip right around 13 miles per hour. It is expected to slowly strengthen as it makes its way off the coast of the mid Atlantic, and then it's going to be following its way out to sea. As for how it'll impact us, well, I'll get to that. Let's talk about the good stuff first. Today, 83 degrees officially. That is nine degrees above average for this time of year. So it was truly a beautiful Saturday across the entire state with lots of sunshine. We're now checking in in the mid 60s at BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport. Our winds are light and variable, but we will see them shifting out of the east more so heading into tomorrow. That's going to bring in more cloud cover and also cooler weather for us. So for tonight, we're partly cloudy and comfortable. Really a great night to crack open the windows and let in some fresh air while you're sleeping. If your allergies don't bother you too much this time of year, of course, 57 for the overnight low temperature in central Maryland, and then a cooler day tomorrow with those east winds and also also the chance for a late day shower. Look for highs tomorrow about 10 degrees to 15 degrees cooler than today. We're forecasting a high around 71 degrees in Baltimore. All right, I mentioned the risk for a shower as we head into the latter part of the day tomorrow. That's associated with a frontal boundary very close by. And as high pressure pushes offshore, we will have an increasing chance for rain, especially as we get some tropical moisture moving into the picture. This be it from Tropical Storm Arthur. Now, as it moves up along the Carolina coast, could it make landfall? It is possible along the coast of North Carolina. We'll keep an eye on that. There's still a lot of details that have to be worked out, but nonetheless, we will see this moisture moving up along the coast. So it is expected to turn rather rainy as we head into Monday night and Tuesday and a bit breezy as well. The good news as we make our way into the next seven days, well, it's going to be cooler this week compared to what we dealt with the past couple of days. We will have a couple of days in the 60s with rainy conditions, but Max, as we head into next weekend, next Saturday, we'll see our temperatures returning back to 80 degrees. We'll send things back to you on TV Hill.